Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. It's Renee again coming at you live from the Country Sampler Studio. And today I am surrounded by topiaries, or at least it hopefully it looks to you like I'm surrounded by topiaries. I feel like I'm surrounded by topiaries because that is the topic of today. We're kind of in the middle of summer, um, still can talk about things like, you know, like projects that involve growing plants and keeping plants alive and that kind of thing. Problem is, if you're like me, I love planting outside plants and I love gardening. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. And I love topiaries, but I do not do well keeping them alive. If they're in my house, then they don't do very well being alive. So one of the topiaries actually that you should be able to see within the realm of your screen is a real living topiary. And I bought two of them in the middle of March, maybe April, when you know there's still snow on the ground and you want green in your house and you know, and I was gonna keep them and in, in the house and they were doing a, gonna do great. And they did great, they did great, I did fine with them until summertime when I thought, you know what, this one would look great on the patio, this one I'm gonna leave in the house. Well, yeah, the one on the patio, it survived because I was watering it, you know, which one didn't survive? This one the one that was in my house. <laughs> so part of what we're gonna do today is try to figure out what to do with my dead topiary right here because the one back here in the corner behind me is the real one that matched this pair and one of them is alive and one of them is not so much alive. So topiaries is our topic for the day. And topiaries are not cheap, whether they are real or whether they are fake, they're not cheap, but I love them. I just, I love them, they are timeless. Timeless. I have had fake topiaries for the past 25 years of owning a home because they just never go out of style. And there are so many different plants and so many different looks to them. I think even with the modern you know, farmhouse decorating, they are still a thing. You can change the pot, you can change the container, you can, you know, you can shape it into a heart or <laughs> whatever you want to do, but they are just timeless and they're so cool, but they're expensive. So bottom line is, you can make your own, you can make your own. And will they be, you know, as nice as the ones that you buy? I think so. I mean, it, it really kind of depends on where you put them because if they're not gonna be like front and center where everyone, you know, in the middle of your island when you're walking through the kitchen and people can see it like super close to tell if it's real or not, honestly, who cares if it's, they can tell that it's real or not. If it's sitting up on your mantle and it's a di at a distance, it doesn't matter if they're real or not. They're part of our decorating. They're just kind of always a part of our decorating. So we are not gonna talk about how to keep a real one alive because obviously I'm not good at that. But we are gonna talk just a couple of simple ways to put them together that are super easy peasy to do and quick. That's the thing, they're super quick. And you don't need very many components and you probably honestly already have what you need to put them together. You probably really already do. So. Let's start out with a really simple one, okay? Obviously, what you're gonna need to start with is a pot or a container. It doesn't have to be a pot, but if you want it to look, you know, like a real topiary, put it in a pot. I literally just pulled this pot from my barn. It's like one of my favorites because look at all the crusties on that bad boy. I don't know where they came from, but it's so cool. I didn't do that. It's just like crusty because of the water and the deposits of minerals over time, you know, and somebody using it. It wasn't me because I just found it like this and I love it. But start out with a pot. Put a piece of styrofoam in the pot. Just shove it down in there so that it's nice and tight, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of moss over the top. I also like moss a lot. Kind of a joke around here. Cause I always use moss and I like moss. So cover it up so you can't even tell, all right? I'm not gonna shove the stick in quite yet, but if you want to, you know, make a topiary, one of the key elements is a free stick out of your yard, all right? You can use dowel rods, you know, whatever, whatever kind of things you grab, but if you can find a straight stick, it actually looks more authentic, right? Because um, a plant is not going to grow on a dowel rod. So grab a stick. Here's what I have. I have an assortment of green here, but grab... Um, this is my one of my favorites, little bunches. I'm, I just grabbed a whole, like a bunch. This is what it looks like originally before you cut it up. Little tiny leaves, okay? Everything that I'm using today comes from our favorite hobby store, okay? 
um, that you can just buy these at year round and sometimes they're buy one get one you know free basically because you get them for 50 percent off that's when i always buy mine so i'm not really advertising for them but i'm telling you this is not hard to find stuff so you get one of these little green bushes i cut four pieces off of this green bush okay so here they are the four pieces one two three four that's probably enough to give me a simple herb type rustic looking topiary at the top of this stick okay so all i'm going to do right here is take this and a piece of wire i had a piece of wire cut but in this mess i don't even know if i can find it here we go piece of wire take your stick i just try to kind of spread them around the stick so they're not all clumped on one side now oh, let go but i just want to create this little tuft kind of like this dude right here see him He's just like a skinny little stick and a tuft of green at the top. I don't know how much this guy was, but he definitely was more expensive than the one that I'm creating today for a very similar look. And, um, also, you know, ultimately I don't have a lot of money in this. You know, maybe I paid 25 cents for this pot at a garage sale. Maybe. The stick obviously is free. The foam is next to nothing. A little bit of greenery from this bush. Not even the whole bush. So it's, it's not expensive. I did go online and look just out of curiosity when I went online to see this type of topiary. I'm trying to hold these and talk at the same time and I'm not having a lot of luck. There we go. Put it down on the table and I'll wrap it. I went online to look at how much these kind of topiaries that kind of look herby and maybe a little, I don't know, colonial-ish, you know, the kind that are simple like this, how much they cost. Holy cow. Um, I was looking at them and granted, I saw like a set of three or a set of two, over a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars. I'm like, that's silly. That's just silly. I didn't even know how much they cost. That tells you how often I buy them because I don't buy them. You can't afford to buy them. It's crazy. So just grab a little bit of green, uh, wire. This is just simple florist wire. So do that real quick. Okay. Now I do have green floral tape on hand. I tried to find some brown and I didn't have any brown in my container, so I apologize. Brown is available, okay? Brown probably would be like, obviously a little better. It would blend into your stick a little bit better. So I wish I had some brown, I don't. But I like to wrap it a little bit at the top where I had that wire so that it kind of covers that part up. And if it was brown, it would camouflage it a lot better. I'm just gonna snip away a couple of these pieces of wire that might be sticking out below it so that I don't see them, okay? Because I don't want to see that. And then once you get it, you know, safely put together, you can kind of make the wires bend down a little and then it might fall apart. But be careful when you're <laughs> pulling them down. I've got them on there, they're not gonna go anywhere, okay? So, now if I had brown wire on this, like I said, that would be better. So here's what you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this down in my styrofoam real quick okay so that you get the idea so there he is fluff him out a little bit if I had used brown wire that would be camouflaged if you don't have brown wire here's something else you can do you can go ahead and pull off a couple of these little greens like this and with a little bit of hot glue wrap them around that part of the stem so that it's kind of covered up with the actual green instead of the uh, what you saw or maybe you don't even want to put the tape on there and maybe you want to just wrap it up but you can do that you can just hot glue a little bit of extra piece or two on that to cover up that base okay and if you want to go back through too there's nothing that says you know you can't experiment with this try it out um, pull another piece or two off and maybe maybe you want a piece that's coming down further than what yours is able to do then just hot glue that baby in there and let them hang down a little bit you can just hot glue stuff you know stick some things in there this is a very very simple simple version of this type of topiary okay but like i said if you camouflage that a little bit it doesn't look really too much different than this guy over here that probably cost me over 50 bucks at some point okay put this one in Yep, there we go, we can compare it. My stick is a little fatter because that's what I found in my yard, but um, it's, it's, you know, it's the same idea and it, it was basically less than five bucks probably. So that's an easy version of topiary number one and you can make them as tall or as short, make a trio, 
you know, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna break the bank. All right. So that's idea number one. Idea number two. I'm gonna save the best for last because I do have a favorite. This is idea number two. The standard start out with a styrofoam ball and wrap it with something, okay? If you have anything that is long and stringy and has leaves on it, so a vine, this is the kind that's very, um, very popular to be used like with the ivies, okay? I'm not a big fan of ivies, but ivies will work. If you find a, a nice faux ivy with smaller leaves, then it would make a nicer base, I think. Um, but, I mean, that's very, that's very typical, okay? Now, I am using a white styrofoam ball. I don't know if they make green. Green would be better. They probably do make green, but I just have a package of white ones, so I'm using white. And in order to camouflage it a little bit, I'm going to just cover it with some more moss, because we like moss. And to make this moss stay on here, I'm gonna pull out some of these greening pins that I have used in the past, the little like U-shaped pins. I don't know if you can see those, but they're just like this little U-shape. I'm Just gonna shove a couple in here. I wouldn't have to do that. And you don't have to do that if you don't have them, but it just kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to manage this moss. And it's not gonna be falling off while I try to get everything else on. So I'm just, I just stuck two on there. That'll be enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste those. But I found, this is like plastic and you can see that. And this is a whole garland of it. This is probably like three bucks, four bucks at our favorite hobby store. And um, actually I've seen it in several craft sections of several stores, okay? I am literally just going to spend some time treating this like a ball of yarn that I would wrap, okay? And I can pin the first one down if I want to. Since I had a piece of this, I might just go ahead and pin down that end piece because I have used this for multiple occasions already. So I'm gonna start out with that piece. But then I'm just gonna find the end of this somewhere. There, where are you? Well, this is, Where's the end? We have to create a new end. There he is. <laughs> Found him. Here's the end. But you get the idea. Here we go. I got a mess going on with that. I thought I had him in order. I'm gonna start again. I'm, I'm not trying to go in the exact same place, obviously, because I don't want it to look lumpy on one side or the other and I just wanna kinda of cover up that moss. But since I put moss on it and I helped cover up the um, white styrofoam, then I don't have to worry as much about it sticking out and showing, okay? So we don't want that to be overly wrapped. So whenever you feel like it looks good, then just take your wire cutters, give a little snip. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that down if I can find it now that I let go, there we go. I'm gonna pin that down. So no hot glue involved. You don't need hot glue. I'm gonna take a stick, which is probably a little longer than it needs to be, but you'll get the point. Um, you're gonna to just find a good spot in there to make a hole. Shove her down in there. Don't really need glue because it's not gonna go anywhere. That's really longer than it needs to be for our scope of size. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not going to try to cut it on camera because it's a dry stick and my little pruners are probably not going to do the job. <laughs> so shove it down in there. Again, you don't need hot glue because it's not going anywhere. There, we made it a little bit shorter. So <laughs> a little out of proportion, but you get the point, okay? You get the point. It's an easy topiary version, um, got your stick, you got your pot. Pot could be bigger, stick could be shorter, you know, you could figure it out, but easy, that was easy. That didn't take us very long, okay? So that's the more like clipped version of a uh, small sphere topiary. So that's version number two, um, very simple. And you could make, get bigger styrofoam balls. I mean, I could have started out with a larger styrofoam ball and it would have been more proportional. So I'm gonna set him aside. 
And I will do one more, but I also wanted to show you this option really quick too. There's really nothing to make on this. Okay, look at this. I just threw this together this morning. Oh, I added a few extra pieces because I like the dark in there, but let me show you. This is three, one, two, three, four. Four stems of this, um, what is it called? Lamb's ear, there we go. Four stems of lamb's ear, all right? If you can find um, some greenery that has super long stems like this, and the green part, whatever it is, is at the top, um, could be lavender, could be the lamb's ear, could be um, olive plant, whatever. If you can find some that are long stemmed and have most of their greens at the top, literally all I did was put a piece of wire here, put a piece of wire here, bundle them together so they have their own stem, got my pot, got my styrofoam, and shoved it down into it and then kind of pulled them down, okay? Now, if you want to treat it, like, I don't know, maybe this one's bothering you, so you trim it, okay? Maybe this one's bothering you, trim it. Prune your topiary, you know, if you don't like the way they're looking, and then if you think maybe you need to put some, you know, more greens coming down this way, take these little dudes and just kind of stick them back up in there, okay? But that was so easy. All I did was have the stems, wrap it twice, and shove it down in a pot, okay? If this is sitting up on a mantle or, you know, a high shelf someplace, look how authentic that looks. That's so cool. I love this idea, and it's just that easy. So you can make yourself a matching pair and put them on either side of your mantle on top, put them next to the fireplace on the bottom, so, so easy and so cool. I love that, okay? So that's idea number four. That's how easy it is to make those kind of topiaries. Here's my favorite, I love this. A Little bit bigger pot, already have the styrofoam in it. I didn't glue it in, I just shoved it in there, okay? A Little bit of moss on top. I have some of this grapevine that you can buy literally, um, again, just about at any craft store. And I have a piece of it that's maybe doubled, okay? into a nice little wreath base. I'm gonna set that in the middle. I'm gonna take some greening pins. Once I can get them out of the bag, get, take some greening pins. And since this is grapevine, super easy to shove pins down, kind of just giving it a little bit of a secure base. I kind of like to do it different directions going in so that, um, it's secured from a couple different ways. Maybe I'll even go from behind over on this side and just grab a couple pieces. It doesn't have to be like super, super well adjusted. I mean, it's, you're probably just gonna keep it inside and put it on a shelf. It's not like it's gonna be outside during a tornado. So, you know, if it is, then that's the wrong place for it, I guess. So here's my base. Pot, a little bit of styrofoam, a little bit of moss. I got these, again, at our favorite hobby store. And at first I thought, uh, those are cool, but I don't know what I would do with those. I really have no idea what I would do with those. They don't look very country to me. They're not really, yeah, I don't know. But I thought I would give this a try. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna stick it kind of over on this side of it. Shove that stem, I cut it, of course. Shove that stem down in that side. Okay, kind of spread this out momentarily. And you can kind of pull on them. They're not real, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt it. If something falls off of it, it's not a big deal. Shove this one down on this side, okay? So I've kind of got them pointed two different directions. Here's where the fun part comes in. All I'm gonna do is take this green, these long strings, and wrap them around this grapevine and kind of shove them into the pieces of the grapevine, okay? That's all I'm doing. I'm wrapping and shoving. I can take pieces of wire Yep, can take pieces of wire and wrap them around if I don't think it's gonna stay put. But it really probably will stay put okay because there's all these little pieces of this grapevine and I'm shoving stuff into it. So it's super easy, okay? So you get the idea. I'm just wrapping it up and shoving it in, okay? If I wanted to put a little piece of green wire down here to make it tighter, definitely can do that, okay? Now, in my opinion, and this is just me, but we're not going for perfect here, you know? Like when you have a real topiary, um, the whole point is you have to 
trim it and you know it's got fresh growth new growth and if you don't trim it it kind of gets a little out of hand you know that's just what they do because they're real plants so if some of these pieces stick up funny and they don't look like they're you know trained well then it just kind of gives it more of that hey this kind of looks like a real thing this looks like a real plant here and it's not so even though this is like a little succulent actually it's looking kind of like it's an herb to me like it's little leaves that are looking kind of like an herb now i also can go back i have an extra one of these i'm going to take off a couple of little pieces and i'm just going to wrap them individually again i could take glue i could wire them do whatever you want and i'm just going to add a couple to the top because if it doesn't reach all the way up um, then this part's going to be a little empty and a little bit, you know, look a little, just look a little empty. But you can just kind of lay them in there. You can wrap them around. You can do, you know, so just secure them, like I said, with a little bit of wire if you want a hot glue. I don't like hot glue because I don't like the commitment. <laughs> so I would, like, I would like to take this home and, you know, leave it somewhere for, I don't know, the rest of the summer maybe, and then I'll probably want to change it out. Plus, if you make the commitment and you glue all this in here, then they get dusty. And I don't like dusty topiaries because dusty topiaries don't look like real topiaries. So I'm not going to worry about making it that permanent. So there's no hot glue on mine. Um, I just stuck it in there and that's just how it looks. But there you go. Like I said, the more kind of sticky outy parts there are, the more real I think it looks. So it was just that simple. Pot, styrofoam, a little bit of a ring, take a couple of faux plants that are long and stringy, whatever you get your hands on, and then just wrap it around and you've automatically got a topiary that you don't have to worry about watering. So that is the fourth version, I believe, that we took a look at and put together. So out of these, maybe one of these is something that you can give a try with what you got on hand or next time you're out and about, you grab something, you want to create one and stick it in your home someplace to decorate with. Easy peasy topiary decorating okay so thanks for joining me um, have a great rest of your day and until the next live video take care